Hello everybody, there is George from FCE365. Today we're gonna uh, activate an iPhone 4 using a different method than uh, the iCloud uh, system. So we're gonna bypass the iCloud in order to get our phone activated. Why? Just because I have an iPhone 4 that I link it to my iCloud account and guess what? I forgot my iCloud password so now I can't um, activate my iPhone. Look, when I go to iTunes, there we go. Activate your iPhone, Apple ID and password. And there we go. So you cannot use your iPhone if it's stuck on a Hello logo. Uh, and I have to set it up, but I can't just go to the interface because when I uh, swipe to set up, I click my language, it configures my language, I select my wireless network and after that uh, it asks me for um, iCloud uh, login data and I don't have my password, I forgot it and I can't recover it back so um, I'm stuck at this um, um, this iCloud uh, lockdown so my method is very simple to use the only thing you need is ssh.gar winnccp and tiny umbrella and some files that I have put in a description well, for the moment we only have to open ssh.gar file. It's a Java uh, system which contains uh, uh, XPWN source code by dev team, uh, Syringe source code by Chronic Dev and uh, Posing Ninja, and um, exploits by uh, Pod2Go and uh, Geohot and etc. Uh, and special thanks to IH8Snow. Uh, probably I hate snow. <laughs> Device info source iPhone that uh, protection. Well we go. We have to put our iPhone in a uh, defu mode in order to get it working. Uh, as you can see the application says that uh, we have to connect the device in defu mode. If you don't know how to create a defu mode device, you have to go to Google search or um, search my video in the, um, in my channel because I have a video about how to put your iPhone in this in uh, this state. After that, um, after we put our iPhone in the uh, defu mode, it says using syringe to exploit the boot room, exploit sand, preparing the load. RAM disk, RAM disk load started, and uh, we just have to wait until the program uh, tells us that we can uh, proceed. Uh, it will connect and disconnect and connect again the phone. Uh, you can ignore anything about uh, USB connection in Windows. Recovery connected. Uh, your phone will start with uh, Apple logo and uh, a uh, slide bar will appear. After this, uh, there we go, success connect to localhost on port uh, 2022 with your favorite SSH client and login is root and password is all fine. So we have to open WinSCP, we click run and for this procedure we need the, this uh, login information. There we go, this is the uh, WinSCP um, login uh, window. We <clears throat> sorry for this. We click uh, host name and write local host. Go to the port number. We click uh, click it and uh, write twenty twenty two. Username would be root. Password all pine. And you don't need a private key. You just click login. Searching for the host. Connecting to the host. You click yes. There we go. Uh, never close this until the procedure is finished. Just uh, minimize it. There we go, we're in uh, this thing. We click the terminal button here, we click OK. Wait, and there on the command line console we write mount that ace age and click enter. It will say this, we press again for checking, it's already mounted. There we go, click close and there we go to the root and here we have everything on the phone from the software which we're gonna find is application and setup this is the application that never let us continue our, um, our phone uh, opening so we go here where we have the files, I'll put the files in the description and uh, 
we're gonna replace the, the files with uh, death withholding. So I'm gonna take them and put them like oh sorry for death uh, in the root folder. We replace. Uh, you click never ask me again and yes because it has to overwrite them. Then uh, after that we go to look down folder and for look down we have to go to MNT to uh, library and after that I think to uh, just wait. Oh, uh, there we have cakes. Uh, go back here and uh, take this. Put them right here. <clears throat> well, uh, after that we go back to root and MT2. Okay, we go back here in the folders. Uh, GSM. We have to replace with this because we'll try to fix even the no service um, uh, issue. This uh, method is already present on the internet in many videos, but in this video you're gonna get how to fix the no service because if you follow another tutorial and delete the setup that application you will end up activating your iPhone but with no service so you cannot use it for um, calling or uh, texting someone. There we go, we'll try to fix this in this video so we have to use CDMA and GSM files. There we go. So we put uh, this and this. You only uh, use this because uh, your phone is CDMA or you will use this if your phone is GSM. <coughs> Mine is a GSM uh, model. We're gonna take a look down and uh, let me find where it is uh, positioned. Um, so I'm gonna go to root, library, lockdown. There we go. We just have to delete the escrow records and this thing <coughs> and get the things copy there we go and after that we go back to this well uh, there we go try again with this one just to make sure that uh, it's already copied and there we go this is the whole procedure now the only thing we have to do is to terminate this uh, session, to click OK. And um, <clears throat> now we have to follow the exact same procedure as we did to put our phone in DFU mode because the phone is stuck on the Apple logo and the progress bar that never uh, increased. So we press uh, power button and home button for, uh, for about 10 seconds until the phone goes off and then after we get our fingers out of any button. Okay, the phone now will start. This is the Apple logo. Uh, but uh, it will start in iTunes recovery mode and there's nothing you can do for it. Because we we S -age aged into the uh, RAM disk and uh, that caused us to get in uh, recovery mode. So what we're gonna do for um, our starting our phone normally is open Tiny Umbrella which is included in the pack that I put in the description. Thanks to the author, and thanks to the author of WinSFP. Uh, wait the Java thing to load. You will need to have Java installed. Sorry, Java runtime need to be installed in order to open this uh, programs. We click OK, OK. We click this device, which is in recovery, and click Exit Recovery. After that, you close this one. And your phone should start as normally. We're gonna wait uh, iTunes to load because I want my phone to get configured. Our uh, goal is not to get the activate your iPhone window on iTunes. So uh, I'm gonna click OK because there is a conflict with my library and uh, everything that I had. I leave it on iTunes Radio and wait uh, the iPhone to show up. My phone is still on the Apple logo, so I have to wait until it's on. Uh, remember that I'm not responsible of any damage you can occur when uh, using this method. You only try this on your own risk, and uh, 
is your uh, own obligation to fix your phone after that because I, I don't give any support for this. Um, I will try to respond to any comment and I'll try to help you to fix your phone if you broke it. But I can't prove you anything that I use or I, and I can't uh, be um, taken to any law because I, uh, I have this method. So it's only your responsibility and you do it all, only at your own risk. There we go. Wait uh, the phone to start. Um, the phone will start uh, way uh, harder than uh, the usual. But uh, yeah, this is because the activation process, which is in the background, my phone vibrated. There we go. Oh, we click continue. Well, we are on the activation um, um, window. We click our language. We have to uh, enter the password for wireless network. Click connect. Wait for the iPhone to start. And there we go. It asks me for a service, a location service. And I click uh, disable them and click OK. Uh, and there we go. Welcome to your new iPhone. I set up as a new iPhone. I click OK, whatever, continue. And configuration as a new iPhone. You can uh, skip any step you want. And there we go. This is our uh, completely bypassed iPhone with uh, the method above and as you can see I can do whatever I want with the siphon um, it's gonna sync it I'm uh, still on the um, configuration window it asks me for a password for diagnostics and welcome to iPhone and I click begin there we go I mean um, I'm on the window of um, applications I'm gonna go to configurations or settings and yeah, there we go. This is our iPhone working and having no problem. It downloads the Safari data. I can now uh, use it. Uh, let me play something on it in order to show you that it works. I don't have any music, but I can play the sounds of the uh, ringtone. Uh, yeah, I can choose another one. There we go. This is our fully functional iPhone. If you click check for updates, it, uh, it works with iTunes or if everything you can update your phone, you can restore your phone you can um, join iCloud from your phone and you can download applications it will be uh, printed as your iCloud device um, so you can do whatever you want with this phone but remember never to uh, fully reset it because you'll lose the files from it so never restore it um, I'm gonna go to music I think yeah sync music apply there we go. Uh, I want some music on it because I want to test it more, uh, just to see if uh, if the phone could um, sync with the iTunes. So we get our phone activated. Uh, it's activated le legally, and uh, yeah, would be better not to use this method for uh, stolen iPhones. And I'm not responsible if you use it like this. I uh, only create this video in educational purpose only for those who lost their password and not for those who stolen the iPhones. There we go. Uh, the no service um, problem was fixed. I have a connection I can call anyone, but for you, if it's not fixed, you can try to jailbreak it with Jigsaw and. Um, after that, you can uh, install Sam from CDR, which would uh, basically do the same thing. So that's nothing.
you can complain about. Well, oh, click, 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 click. There are some songs that I downloaded from a store uh, in the past, but uh, yeah, there are too many of them to to get. So I only want some of them to play one of them because uh, I want to test the synchronization between my activated iPhone and um, and the iTunes. There we go. Uh, let me find something. Uh, have the song. Well, I disconnected it. Yes, there we go. We can use our iPhone for anything else. It syncs perfectly with iTunes with no problem. And iTunes no longer uh, tells you that you have to activate it. So uh, let me make a photo. So everything works okay. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you a lot. Uh, I repeat, never use this uh, method for stolen iPhones. Just for uh, those who uh, who love their password. I'm not responsible for any damage and for anything else. Thanks for watching and subscribe.